Creativity and originality are probably two of the most important things to me when I go into a horror film blind. But if the film doesn't have any structure or it has a damaged tone, there's pretty much nothing for the film to fall on. It's pretty well known in any art form that you need to know the rules, the structure, before you can break it. And if you do break it successfully, it can really make a film shine. But unfortunately, in this case, the perfection, well, it's anything but perfect. It takes a nosedive exactly when the audience is thrilled and excited about where it's going and there's just no correcting the landing. <laughs> Directed by Richard Shepard, the film stars Alison Williams, Logan Browning and Steven Weber. The film is a very twisted ride and the plot surrounds a cellist player that has missed her calling. After an unfortunate event, she returns to meet her teachers and meets the woman who took her place as their star pupil. This is one of those films that you feel like it's totally going one direction and then it ends up somewhere else completely. And these are kind of my favorite films. Films like Us, uh, Gerald's Game, Martyrs, I love these kind of films, but when they're done right, you know, there's a lot of wrong directions a film can go. This film doesn't only change its story, but its tone changes dramatically. A tone change can be a perfect breaking of the rules, which could make the film shine, but when it mixes dramatic subject matter with strange editing techniques, you're taken completely out of the film. The film starts really strong and is unlike anything we've seen before, which really lures you in, but when it all seems to fall apart, it's hard to know where to land. The unfortunate thing about this film is it has a really cool approach and it's really unique in its storyline and concept, and it even has unique characters, which Usually you get unique characters or a unique storyline and then everything else is stereotypical. But this one, it's just all crazy and you just don't know what's going on in the best kind of way possible. And they definitely did it with the best intentions, but when you put everything on the line, and I'm talking everything on the line, and everything is a rule-breaking moment in this film, there's not much for it to fall back on if something goes wrong. And furthermore, there's not much payoff. <laughs> don't get me wrong, this film is 100% fascinating and really, really vile it's absolutely vile i would not recommend sitting down and eating while watching this film it was gruesome and i was so loving every moment of it but with all it's offering it's reaching and it's reaching a concerning amount an amount that you could see the conclusion as quite comical this is my main issue with the film the tone is all over the place and leaves you confused on what to feel in saying that the performances by the two lead actresses are superb and with all the extreme scenes they have a great chance to really push themselves and show what they can do. But tying all of these scenes together for their characters as a whole makes them seem very messy and confusing. The perfection lets you in on glimpses of their true characters but withholds all the pieces of the puzzle till the end. And by then they just don't fit. Trust me I suspend a lot of belief within films and I'm not one to pick on little flaws in the plot but for this one, they were so dramatic that it was kind of hard to focus. Overall, I think that this film's tone was severely damaged by trying to be clever and trying to use stylized editing techniques. It's a film that goes wild where the structure should be, but then has nowhere to land in order to showcase its reasonings. It also takes many things to the extreme to make consequences seem dire when the logic is flawed anyway. With everything I've just said, I'm sure I've lowered your expectations if you haven't seen the film. I still highly recommend checking it out because it is completely vile and nothing like you've seen before. I don't think a lot of people will like the nosedive element in this film. I was so into it, you know, a quarter of the way in, halfway in, even towards the end, but then it just got to a point where I'm like, yeah, my belief has gone out the window and it's just too much and everything is too extreme and too kind of shoved in your face. I don't know, it's very strange this one, but also it's definitely worth checking out. The whole time I was texting my patrons being like, what? the F is going on right now. I can't even explain. I also really enjoy the fact that I watched the trailer before this film and I thought it was going to give away a lot about this movie, but it is so complicated that it cannot give anything away. So that makes my job really easy. So I like that. So if you're into a complicated story that's very gory, please check it out. It's on Netflix now in most countries. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you like or you didn't like The Perfection down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It is my third video this week, so you're welcome. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky.